Hey everybody, welcome back. Jeez. Uh, you just never know what's gonna happen in skateboarding. Not a day goes by that some absurd event uh, fails to transpire. We've got these pants, these skateboarding pants that cost $1,400, yes. I know when I f clicked on these, somebody somebody sent me these and I thought either there was Photoshop or there was some kind of mistake. Some person that I was talking to about them was like, well, do you get all four of them? No, <laughs> this is for one pair. You These are just showing you what your options are. You get one pair, one color for $1,400. Uh, Yes, that it is. There's no mistake. This is the intended price tag. No thirteen ninety nine bullshit. One four zero zero. Straight up, uh, fourteen hundred dollars to the dome. A price tag like this, you might be thinking, well, I. That's crazy. I'd like to know more. Well, let's take a look at the product description. Limited edition corduroy pant. Deep pockets. If you're able to spend $1,400 on a pair of pants, uh, you better have deep pockets. Five belt loops, which I is, isn't that standard. Seems doesn't exactly scream luxury to me. Um, elastic waistband. Uh, again, not entirely sure that's too luxurious. That's more of a uh, pajama pant, not a luxury jean feature, but what do I know? Um, Inside drawstring, again, kind of getting some uh, pajama features here. Eco-friendly, well, that's good, uh, whatever that means, because that is the only information about that. We get two words, eco-friendly, okay. Not into, we don't know how. Designed by Mama Skate, Skate Pussy, and Skate Goat. Made from scratch in Los Angeles. Okay, so we know they're designed in Los Angeles, and they're made in Los Angeles. That's about the extent of what we know about these $1,400 pants. So if we go to the about page, uh, listen, I could read this to you, but you know, I'll basically summarize. Uh, this is Marissa Martinez. She's a CEO of Mama Skate. She didn't like how pants were fitting, so she made her own pants. That's basically what the gist of that is. Um, and of course, listen, we're not gonna sweep it under the rug. There's Karyuma is in the mix here, I guess, as you would expect, rearing its ugly face once more for us. Always seeming to get its hands involved in questionable skateboarding practices. Okay, so of course, you know, Big Mamas, it's a play off of the, the Polar Big Boy, which is pretty much the most popular skateboard pant uh, in the game right now. And funnily enough, the greatest criticism that sort of people have about Polar Big Boys, besides their, you know, high level of popularity, is the price tag associated with them. $140 for a pair of jeans to many people seems like too much money. However, such a price tag is dwarfed, literally, it's dwarfed. A zero uh, is added to the Big Mama's price tag. The parody or the playoff of the original has added a zero to the pri the original price tag. If you're not convinced yet, thinking that you know these might be a little bit overpriced, let's take a look at some other pants that you could buy in skateboarding. Now, Dime is a company that I like to consider to be, uh, you know, kind of like a nice boutique, very bougie, fancy. Uh, option uh, if you're into skateboarding. It's a very sensible and well-designed storefront that says a lot about the people that are running it. Something like Dime, if you take a look at their pair of pants, again, they're around the same price as Big Boys, $142. When you pay for a pair of pants like Dime, like these Dime pants, you can see that there are flourishes and details that maybe justify um, paying a premium. So you can see here, there's this nice patch, this archer and uh, this man or woman standing around here. Uh, it's quite a tasteful looking patch. Uh, the pockets are a unique shape. You can see that uh, they're not just your normal, they're, they're not just your normal shaped pockets. There are design accents. There is something unique about these pants that other pants do not have. 
Um, and on top of that, the Dime brand logo, because their storefront, their marketing, their branding, the products themselves, if you go on Dime's website, all their products are designed pretty exceptionally, in my opinion. It's all very tasteful, high-end stuff. The logo itself carries weight. The reputation of Dime precedes it. You don't have to question why a pair of Dime pants are $142, in my opinion. Even though, personally, I'm not really financially at a point where I can justify spending $142 on a pair of Dime pants, if somebody I knew pulled up to the park in dime pants, I wouldn't be like, you really bought those $142 dime pants, moron? I'd be like, okay, I like those pants. Uh, they're nice, they're unique, they're cool. I like dime. Alternatively, look at a brand like Supreme. These pants, a little more pricey, $200, but we know people wait in line around the block for, for Supreme. And you know, you can argue about, is Supreme really skateboarding anymore? Ultimately, you know, Whatever, we're talking skateboard pants here. $200, so we're getting a little bit more expensive. So what's crucial to note about these is the when it comes to this description, for example, there is no ambiguity. They're telling you exactly what you're paying for with ample detail. Taking it a step further outside of the skateboarding universe, Look at a pair of pants like these Louis Vuitton. We are now, we're not even in the skateboarding universe anymore. We're in the high fashion luxury world of, of pants now, where we've transcended the, the mere $200 Supreme pants and the $140 uh, dime and, and polar pants. We're now on Louis Vuitton's website. So a pair of pants like this, for example, this is what people who drive Range Rovers and who walk around with poodles in their handbag. And these are not, these are $1,080. Not even these can can match the, the exorbitant price of the mama, the big mamas. You know, it's crazy. This is designer. This is high fashion shit. You're like, now we're talking about some, some serious money that you'd be spending on pants. And of course, I don't have to explain to you what Louis Vuitton is. Um, we, we all know. They're made in Italy for fuck's sake. I mean, it's nice stuff. Uh, th there's a reason that they charge $1,000 for these. Bringing this all back around to these mama skate pants. Here's what I think is going on personally. I see a trend with this and with the people involved. And I think that charging $1,400 for these pants, it's 100% a marketing scheme because there's absolutely no way that you can justify $1,400 for a pair of pants that have zero brand recognition, zilch, nothing. If somebody sees you walking around in a pair of Louis Vuittons, you're like, hey, this fucking guy, he's got a bit of money. Nobody, nobody knows or cares about your big mama pants. I'm sorry, but that's just the way that it is. So just artificially inflating your price like this is just an attempt at giving the appearance of luxury and exclusivity, even though there has been no track record, uh, there has been no history to look back on to sort of justify um, a price tag like this. There isn't even any information over here that would lead you to be able to think, okay, I can see why these are $1,400. No, it's just zero to 100 as an attempt to jump to the front of the pack with zero evidence, zero proof, zero reasoning. Really, you have no reason to buy these pants other than you just kind of think that because it's $1,400, it has to be nice, which is obviously not the case. In my opinion, this is like a total shortcut. Um, this is like a marketing shortcut. And I see this pattern in S Scapegoat's career as well. Um, sorry to keep bringing up Scapegoat. I don't really like talking about him that much anymore. Um, it's kind of a dead meme. But here we are. He's got his hands on these as well. There's some parallels you can draw here. He has a pro model board for Bright Skateboards, dubious skateboard company to say the least. The description of this is, is quite fascinating. Le and I've covered this before, but I think it applies to this well. Leandre Sanders, Baby Goat Second Edition, blah, 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 blah. Okay, these new boards have a secret number two somewhere on them so that in the future, collectors can identify where in the timeline of Leandre's career these came to life. It's also easier for him to look back on his career in the future 
and know exactly which board came out when and in what order. Each edition of the Baby Goat boards will have a different number, not unlike books do when they sell out and decide to print another run. And just like the old graphics of the 80s and 90s, this graphic will have many editions, only our boards will change slightly or boldly in their color schemes with each edition. Understand this, they are charging $100 for the skateboard deck for a professional skateboarder who has accomplished nothing. And they are treating this as though, I'm sure this is Steve Barra who wrote this fucking description. A uh, skate goat is this accomplished skater. He's this seasoned professional skateboarder with many video parts under his belt. He has nothing. He has no video parts. The idea that this is a collector's item, because he has no career, we have no reason to believe that any of his items will be collectible. For most of the time, for items to be collectible, the person that we're talking about, whether it's baseball, soccer, maybe it's like a guy's jersey, um, the item was more than likely is going to be collectible because they were an exceptional player or a standout individual in their field. Leandre Sanders is by no means a standout. In fact, he has nothing to show for his skateboarding talent thus far. As far as I can see it, Leandre Sanders has taken every shortcut that you can a as a professional skateboarder. So he skates for Bright and he skates for uh, Karayuma. Those are, listen, as far as I'm concerned, that's a, that's called taking a shortcut and taking a, a quick paycheck. I understand we all come from different backgrounds. I know that, but ultimately the, the bottom line is Leandre has chosen his sponsors poorly. And looking at something like this, and, and don't even, if anyone mentions that Jim Greco video, I'm going to blow my brains out. Having somebody, having Jim Greco record you inside Venice Park for 30 minutes does not count as a street park. It's insulting to even insinuate that it's the same thing. This idea about these items being collectible with no evidence to show you that th these will be even remotely collectible, the only reason that anyone's buying these or thinking that they're collectible is because the price tag is inflated and they're saying they're collectible. Not dissimilar to these big mama skate pants. We have no reason to believe that these are luxury pants, that they should be $1,400, other than the fact that that's what they're telling you and that's what they're showing you. So, you know, the other products on this website, shorts, for example, $1,400 shorts, why? We don't know. New Yum Limited Edition. No information about why these should be $1,400. Nothing. Um, unbelievable that they're charging $1,400 for these fucking pants, honestly. Uh, they're delusional. You know, listen, I'm no design expert. I have my opinions. But does this honestly look any different than something that you might just stroll by in Target? There's no interesting brand vision. All you're doing is plastering your poorly crafted logo all over it and just hoping that people will eat it up because they lack critical thinking. Because they, they'll think $300, there must be a reason for it. Anyway, so these ones at least, they're recycled or whatever. 88% recycled uh, polyester, that's great. You know, but the idea that just because they're designed by Mama Skate in Los Angeles, that, they, that it's, they're worthy of a $300 price tag, it makes no sense. What have you, sh what have you proven to the world, Skate Mama, that, that like with, with your logo and with these designs that you are now charging the same prices as Louis Vuitton, the top professionals in the fashion industry? Are you are you implying that you're on their level with, with these absurd prices? How is this $1,400? This absolutely, if you found this in the thrift store, maybe you'd buy it for, for 12 bucks, honestly. The, the logo, the brand recognition, it has no business putting itself in this price category. And you can say, you know, I'm doing them a favor just by covering this. But honestly, you know what? I need my content too. And I think that personally, I find this to be blasphemous and at least a little bit insulting. So there you go. Uh, this is what I think about these. I think it's just, it's an attempt at clever marketing, but ultimately I think it's just a big steaming pile of horse shit. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I've got new shirts, which are $30. Uh, believe it or not, a mere $30. You can buy my t-shirts, free shipping. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna plug my stuff now, fuck it. Yeah, that's it, two new t-shirt designs. Feel free to purchase if you wanna support the channel. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much.